Welcome everybody to the Falcon One Shot. On the agenda we have Battle Station Harbinger here today. This right here kind of falls along the lines of a RTS version of FTL. It's not to say that Harbinger doesn't do its own thing different from FTL because it definitely does, but I feel that FTL has had like a really big influence on space roguelite games, especially in the indie genre, so it's definitely in that category for a fact. Now, my only problem with the game so far, I enjoy it. It's a really difficult game, mind you. And the difficulty is where the problem lies, in that the game feels a bit slow. There's an in-game speed-up function that we'll kind of cover pretty soon, but even though with that, it still feels relatively slow, and with a game like a roguelite, where you're gonna die a lot, and you kind of want to get back to where you were and do something different to kind of, um, not die next time around, it feels like getting back to that point is a bit of a hassle because the game just kind of plays a bit slow. And if there's anything that I want them to add to this game right now, it's just kind of like more of a faster speed-up function. I'm not sure it's going to be possible, but that's my only complaint with the game so far. Let me tell you, easy, it's not easy. It's easy in the um, FTL roguelike sense where it's kind of like, yeah, you have a better chance early, but you better be prepared at the end. So we'll definitely be checking out this on easy. Um, we can select a vehicle to start off with here, a spaceship. We have to do pretty good, as you can probably imagine, to unlock some of these guys over here. I haven't really done well at all, so I only have the default one, which is the BSC Nightingale. So we'll select her. I'm going to call her a her. And um, over here, you get to randomize the map if you want to. You could also do endless mode on or off as well. But we'll go random. We'll start down here. Our exit point's over here. I've never made it over there before because I usually get involved with a ton of quests in this game. There's tons and tons of side missions and quests, which is what's really fun about the game. Alrighty, so let me tell you what's happening right now. When you start up a game, you'll get a different random story every single time, which will kind of be like your main nemesis. Right now, we rolled something different that I've never seen before. Let me tell you a little bit of story about them. Energy beings with a unified mind using ever very advanced and coordinated tactics combined with the most advanced energy technology encountered so far. They are known to use humans as energy resources by plugging them directly into their ships. Oh, and you can probably see it right here too. Scout drones have returned with footage of celestial energy processing outposts holding humans captive and plugged into machines. I need you to find those outposts and obliterate them. We have found information that the last celestial station can be weakened by destroying the outpost's first good luck command. So all of these will kind of give you like an idea as to what your overall goal is for a run. Scientists, Commander, our research indicates that the celestial outposts are powering the main celestial station. This is valuable information. You can weaken the Celestial main station by destroying the Outpost First Commander. Alrighty. So our goal is to, you know, release those people, obliterate that station, but before we do that, we have to weaken it by destroying other Outposts first here. So, let's see. Right now we have to pick up a quest. Basically to destroy one of these Outposts before we go on and take the, uh, the main thing on here. So I guess we'll just pick the first one over here. Not a big deal. Uh, we'll get a reward. I'm not sure what that is. Probably a radioactive weapon if I had to ma a wager, I guess. We also get five... 155, 53 scraps, I should say, and five of these little things that we'll use for upgrades. Alright, so as you start off, all of this right here you see on space will be collected. This will be all scrap and upgrade points, which you will use to be upgrading your ship over here. And let's do that right now. Let's go into engineering. We have a few options over here. I normally like to start off with the old laser drones. We'll buy these bad boys over here. So every time you start off, you have a chance to kind of build your spaceship that we kind of want to do. So that's pretty cool. It's really, really customizable in that regard. We also want some weapons, right? Let's start off with the projectile cannon if we can. And let's see, we have 679. I also want some defenses over here. Let me get some lasers if I can. So with these guys over here, you can now upgrade your systems. So let me go ahead and grab myself an upgrade for my missiles here. I think I'm going to do... Mmm, range upgrade could be pretty useful. Just hang out in the background and let them do this thing. But accuracy could be useful as well. Let me do up, um, accuracy one time. And do we have enough for this? No. Alrighty, so that's basically all we're going to be rolling with for a while. Now, our drones should be popping up pretty soon. I'm pretty sure that's one of them right here. Oh, there you go. We just deployed them now. And if you upgrade these guys more and more, you'll have like two, three, four, etc., etc. And what's really cool, if you go into formation, you can also buy other spaceships that you can also upgrade and kind of make your own formation. So you definitely want to build a fleet here because as you progress, as you the further you go into the game, the more enemies you encounter, so you'll definitely need a lot of backup over here. You can kind of set up your formation the way you want it to. You have a mission for me, right? Yeah. Under Siege, Battle Station G23. You are nearby. Okay, we can do that one. We're supposed to get there in six turns, by the way. Let's go into a star map. So, from our star map, this is going to be the one that we just picked up now, and then these will be the ones, the outposts that we want to destroy for the 
the exit area in a sense, right? Now we're here, we're gonna encounter some fights over here. There's gonna be a random fighter. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a big ship, small ship. So we'll jump over here because we have no other choice, but we want to head over here to begin with. So let's jump. Now, we will soon note hostile ship present, which is right here. It's small dude. So I want to say that my drones should be able to, yeah, take care of them. <laughs> Pretty good because right now we only have a cannon, so it's not really too accurate, especially for smaller ships like that. That fight went relatively fast because early on, but once you start getting involved with bigger ships and more enemies on screen. You can speed it up over here, but it still doesn't feel as fast. Let me show you the traveling speed. So when you're maneuvering around, that's how fast you move. And I understand it's probably because the game is meant to be more strategic, but especially for a roguelike game at the same time, it seems to kind of um, lose its effects sometimes as well. And if you roll in slower speed, you'll see that you go even slower. So that's what I meant about it feeling kind of really slow sometimes, especially when you're gonna wanna get back into it and continue with your missions when you die. So, we have cleared this one out already. Let's jump over to here. That's gonna be a mothership or a battle station that's actually cool with us. We could probably either pick up a mission here or... Oh, you're being attacked. By who? Oh, from over here. Oh, that guy just warp speed over here. Alrighty, guys. Let's go. Let's send my little droids over there. Go get him. And we'll speed up and we'll move ourselves over here. Now, mind you, since we only have a missile, we might want to avoid direct combat. Plus, the battle station is also defending itself, so it should be all right. There goes that guy. <laughs> you have completed mission number two. You got six um, upgrade points and 184 scrap. Give me all that loot. Yeah, buddy. All righty. How you doing here, buddy? You have a mission for me as well. Pick up item from the sector all the way over there. Well, I mean, I'll pick it up. Sure, there's no time limit, thankfully. So I'll pick it up, and I'll try to do it at some point. Now, what we could do right now is we haven't taken any damage, so we, we could repair here for free, mind you. How much scrap do we have? 621? Let's actually upgrade ourselves here a little bit. So, I, I need another weapon. And I'm going to honestly go for the laser cannon. Oh, we're so close to it, but we don't have enough just yet. I'm going to get the laser cannon, though. And that's going to be my goal here. So, we'll wait a bit longer. Uh, we have some upgrade points as well. Let's see about upgrading our regular cannon. Actually, no, no. Let's upgrade our drones to have a third one. Max ship upgrade. This will give me three of these uh, drone ships to give me a hand, so we'll upgrade that. Perfect. And I'm going to save these for my laser cannon at some point. So now we have three little dudes over here running around helping us out. Nice. All right, so we're done here. Let's see. Over here we have a big-ass battle station ship of the enemies, or at least a fleet. And another fleet over here. We might want to avoid those for a fact. Unfortunately for us, we have to kind of go through here if we want to get over on this side. So I think we're going to take the long way around and go through this side instead. So over here we have another battle station. Let's jump to that one. Alright, more scrap for us. Excellent. Do you have any missions too? You do. You want me to make it over there? No time limit? I'll take it. Alright. Star map. Now, that's probably the goal point. We have a couple of enemies over here. This might be problematic for us. Over here, I believe this is going to be an asteroid field. The orange ones tell you that it's like some sort of event over there happening. Alrighty. I'm going to give this one a try. Let's actually jump over here. Because I want to fight this guy as soon as possible and not get overwhelmed by the second enemy. So we'll jump over here. You guys better be ready. There he is. Small dude. Oh, we got him down already. Yes, laser drones. Oh, bigger ship with some backup. All right, so let's come over here. Excuse me. Forget about that guy. Forget about that guy. We need our friend over here taken care of. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that... That is an enemy. Yo, dog. You want to aim over here? Oh, we, we probably lose already. I'm uh, not... Getting oh okay hey 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 we gotta jump <laughs> I for some reason cannot get a lock on this guy so this is one of the things that I learned about this game I died a lot early on because I never knew when to give up I thought just because you ran into a fight early in the game it meant you could fight it easily no 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 sometimes you just gotta run you gotta run sometimes until you get upgraded until you can come back and fight them a lot more easier that right there was not a really favorable situation for us so we're gonna run yeah he came with a fleet. No wonder. We're going to jump to our guide point over here. So luckily for us, we should be able to get our HP back over here. 
And we completed a mission as well, more scrap, perfect. And this will give us a chance to level ourselves up a bit more. So keep that in mind if you've picked this game up. If you are losing a fight even early on, run. Believe me, it's not a bad thing to run in this game. As a matter of fact, the developer actually told me legitimately, hey, if you're having a hard time, you gotta run sometimes. That's basically the key over here. Um, Alright, so we have another mission over here. I'll go ahead and accept that one. There's no time limit. We have a thousand scrap, 22 of these. Pretty nice. Let's see if we can upgrade ourselves here a little bit. So, huh, we need a better weapon. I'm going to say we finally pick up this laser cannon. And let's see if we get upgraded here a little bit as well. Shield damage upgrade. Hole damage upgrade. Well, we need something for the shields because this guy does not do anything to shields, right? So let's go ahead and upgrade this once. We have 14 points left over for an upgrade, which we can do over here as well. Or we can just toss it somewhere else. I almost want to give myself another extra drone here. Four drones? You know what? That could be pretty useful. Especially to take damage off of ourselves here, so let me do that one. Alrighty, so we're left with 376. Let's also go ahead and give ourselves another... Well, we'll give ourselves a bolter now. This will shoot a few pew pews, but more importantly, it'll also probably block incoming uh, missiles towards our location. And we have another one over here as well. Once we get a bit more scrap, we'll get that one. Alrighty. So far, so good. We have four laser drones now. Great. Let's look at our star map. Now, luckily for us, that fleet that was destroying us is now heading over here. So, we could probably get over here relatively fine now. That was a tough fight for an early mission, man. Or at least a tough fight for an early spawn point. Hey, let me, let me get those. Oh! Oh my god, he's back! I don't want you to be back! Okay. That's two, as well. We have to hightail it out of here right now. This is no good for us. I mean, I'll try to give it a try, but... Oh, our laser took care of... Well, he's trying to take care of it. Let's see if we could just... Oh, he's got a laser, too. Of course he would. Let's see. If I'm losing, I'm gonna get it the hell out of here, though. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Well, we're doing pretty good on this guy. Our shields are holding up for the bit. Okay, there we go. Pretty good. Bit of more. Bit of more over there. Where's my drones at? Oh, uh, if I could just bring down at least one guy, I'll be content. I'll be content. One guy down. Alrighty. Pick up the scrap. If we have to... Oh, we might be able to pull this one through, actually. Get them, laser drones. Get them all, lasers. Nope. Damn it. The problem is we need to get close with our, sh our lasers to bring... Okay, now his shields are down. Is there someone other than shooting me over there? No, we're fine. You know what? I think we might be able to pull this off. He's got a ton of little drones on him, but... He is going down. Yo, come on, little guys. Come on out here. We're so close to this victory, man. But I'm also close, so close to the defeat. Come on, come on. We got him down. Okay, his little drones are still there, so fuck him for that. <laughs> Let me jump back over here. We might be able to jump back and pick up our scrap, though, so that's the upside here. But we need to get ourselves healed. Where's, um, Commander Doodad? Hey, heal me up, please. Hoo-wee. That was close. Hey, man. We got this guy down, though. That's... Oh, there was more backup on the way? Alright, so let's jump back over here, then. I just, I just want to pick up the scrap. Yeah, I know they're present. Oh, it's the ones that we left over, the small little dudes. Alrighty, you know what? That might be pretty good now that we are healed up now. Get them, laser drones. Yeah, buddy. Get those scumbags. Give them hell. There you go. You got him. Absolutely. Alrighty, cool. Oh, there's only one dude still over here. Hey, get him. Get the scumbag. Perfect. Sector cleared, and we got all the scrap for it. Alrighty. Pretty good. Close enough for another upgrade as well. Oh, this right here is an item that we found. What, what do you have here? The stress beacon. Activate the distress beacon in the star map. This will um, alert nearby enemy ships to your sector. So I guess if you're trying to lure enemies away from a different sector, you could probably set this off and then kind of book it yourself. So yeah, you probably don't want to alert enemies to your location to fight them, but it's a way to kind of call them off from a location you're headed to, which isn't a bad idea. Like for instance over here. There's another fleet over on this side. You know what? Let's give this a try. I've never tried this out before. So if I'm right over here, all you have to do is just basically put it out in space. So now the Distress Beacon is over here in space, right? And now, 
this is ca calling out a signal to all the other enemies around from the dudes that you just took out. So they'll be coming over here and be like, hey, what happened to our bros then? There you go. Engineering has a little... Oh, that's because of the... Yeah, I left that over here purposely, guys. Star map. So now, potentially, we should be able to make it over here, but let's move over here first because it does seem to be smaller ships. And then we'll see if that Starfleet over there could just move down to where the Distress Beacon is at. Hostile ships pressing. Yeah, it's a small one. Good jump over on this side. Sector cleared. Alrighty, easy scrap. Not a big worry. 469. Can we do another upgrade over here? Yes, we can. Let's do the Gatling one now. Let's get a little bit experimental here. Alrighty. And we have enough for an upgrade over here, maybe? Yeah, we do. Um, let's get another accuracy upgrade for a cannon. Or should we... Hull damage, range upgrade. Mm, let's do the accuracy one. Alright. Star map. Oh, that fleet didn't move? It didn't move. Alrighty, I guess we'll have to take care of it ourselves here. I doubt we will, but... We'll give it a try. Maybe we'll run into, like, a friendly NPC as well. Sometimes you could actually, um... Recruit? Sometimes you could recruit other... Vagabonds. I detected a container in this sector. It may hold valuable content. Proceed with care. It could also be a trap. I think it's probably a trap. What the hell are you supposed to be over here? Oh! Oh, it was a trap. EMP, EMP pulse detected. Scanners detected a strong electromagnetic pulse, which disabled it. It disabled FTL engines for a turn. Alright. Well, luckily for us, we did pick it up already and all the enemies were down. Hooey. Okay. Now over here, we should have a few distress beacons of Atomate. Ooh, what is this? Uh, a Skilai Missile Turret. Shilai. Okay. You look pretty cool. Missile Turret. And then over here, we have another distress beacon. I'll take this one with me for now. Um, you know what? Let's get rid of this guy here for a bit. Let's give this guy a test. I'm curious about it. Do we have anything to upgrade it? We do. Hmm. Let's see. Info. Long-range missile turret. Good against enemy hull. Homing capability determined by accuracy. Ooh. Penetrate shields. Ooh. Okay. It's not bad at all. Completed another mission, too. Okay. Let's see about... Recharge time. 3.5. Upgrade? Let me get another accuracy boost. Love those usually. Alrighty. And that's where the turn-based mechanic comes into play. Luckily for us, this guy should not be a problem for us now. I don't think so, anyway. Little guys, get over here! Give me... give Papa an old hand. Now, obviously, we do prefer to stay away. Because we have the long-range capability for that. So let me just move away over here. I'm just being a bit too... Silly, taking this on head-to-head. -head. Shields down. Oh, this guy has no chance now. <laughs> Perfect, got him. No, oh, bring the little guys down. Bring those little fellers down. There's one right here. Get him too. Yeah, okay. Sector cleared. Let me get all that stuff. Alright, you know what? Um, we're going to probably start wrapping up over here. At least I gave you an idea as to what Battle Station Harbinger is all about. There's a ton of missions to kind of continue doing. And we have our main goal, which is the outpost. I'm going to just go ahead and wrap it up here by going into one of these outposts and at least showing you what happens when you're not prepared for a fight just yet. So expect some calamity right now in our end. Oh, that's a huge dude. Huge feller. Destroy the ship. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, so these guys are just sending... Oh my god, they're just tearing through our shields, as expected, honestly. Can we speed it up here a little bit? Let's see if we can get away long enough for this. Yeah. Oh my god, that guy's got some hardcore defenses! So yeah, that's basically the Battle Station Harbinger. We're not ready for this fight, obviously, but I want to give you an idea what it looks like. So you're supposed to bring down these outposts, and then you'll be able to pierce through the actual battle or main station itself. But there you guys have it. Um, description below is going to have all the information to the game itself. Fun game if you could kind of tolerate the more of a slower approach over here. Um, experience, I guess once we experience completely fully up, we will get one of those uh, ships unlocked as well. But there you guys have it, Metal Station Harbinger. I will catch you next time.